I see you the morning you are watching Israeli News Live. The voices that you were just hearing on the video playing were the voice of one man that was stabbed in a terror attack on a bus in Tel Aviv. It is like something out of an apocalyptic movie there. I can't even say that Greek word correctly there, but... Uh, it was just a horrible, terrifying uh, event that took place this morning in Tel Aviv. An Arab attacker came, was on a bus there. Uh, from just the sketchy reports I'm getting thus far, he stabbed 12 people on the bus. Three of those are very serious. The voice of the caller there is saying in Hebrew that I have got blood all over my body. He's frantic. The 911 caller first asked him, uh, uh, what is what is happening? Where where is this happening at? He tells him first. He asks him what's happening, and then he tells him it's on an auto bus in Tel Aviv. And then he asks him later the second time what happened in the attack. And the caller sitting there with blood running down his body, trying to describe what happened and what's going on. It is amazing. There uh, you're seeing now the images here. Uh, on, on our screen as well, uh, footage being taken there in Tel Aviv, the events that are happening. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, according to Israel National News, has already reported on this as well, stated that uh, has responded on the attack on the bus in Tel Aviv Wednesday morning in which an Arab a terrorist attack, uh, attacker, of course, like I said, took 12, uh, stabbed 12 people. Uh, the attack is direct result of a toxic incitement spread by Palestinian Authority uh, uh, PA, that is, against Jews and their state. That's state, a quote-unquote from Prime Minister Netanyahu, charged Netanyahu joining other MKs who were earlier placed the blame squarely on the PA chairman Mahmoud Abbas's shoulders. He also stated the same terror tries to harm us in Paris and Brussels and every other place. Uh, those rushing to welcome this act are Hamas, the unity go uh, government partner of Abu uh, uh, Mazen, which is actually Abbas's uh, name there. This is the same Hamas that said it will sue Israel in the International Criminal Court, the ICC in The Hague. Now, let me just l make this statement here, and this is for those Israelis that would be watching, any governmental uh, people that may watch this clip as well, and that is this is an, a situation that is only going to spiral out of control. I would not doubt, of course, the Palestinian Authority, Hamas, working with Hezbollah to the north. Uh, it looks and appears that uh, with uh, Hezbollah easily going in and out of Syria with the Iranian forces, that an attack, when it does come in the very near future there, will come from both the, uh, the north and the east of Israel there, coming across into the West Bank, joining forces. But before that attack comes, we may see more of a coordinated events of suddenly all kinds of terrorists, such as what happened in Tel Aviv, breaking out all over Israel to distract Israel's uh, uh, military defenses in the wake of an onslaught of a major assault offensive against Israel. This, no doubt, will leave many dead in Israel. This will cause a major apocalyptic event. I can't even forget that word. It's too hard for me to say it. So... It will cause a major chaos throughout Israel, though, no doubt about it. And it's my heart is concerned for my people, uh, especially those living in the north. We were up in the Golan ourselves uh, originally, and uh, it, it, it's much tension up on the border there. And uh, so we just really we, we keep bringing you up to date on some more things there. Uh, other news we're looking at uh, where Iran certainly may be taking part in this. I know some have actually written us and said uh, the Gog and Magog war, we believe that this is something that happens at the end of the millennium. Yes, John does bring this out in the book of Revelation. I believe it is a, a, a dual type of war, one in the natural, the other a spiritual battle, one typing the other. When you look at Ezekiel, it is clear that this is also an event that happens in modern times. I know there's others that disagree with that, but we will be bringing you more up-to-date news, up news on this, especially the part of Iran's involvement with 
Hezbollah and just how heavy the artillery will come against Israel. This will cause the United Nations to have to join with Israel. This will be when the Vatican pushes its own weight around and causes the UN forces to come to Israel's aid in a battle such as this. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. Thank you.